you with day 16 of 30 inks 30 days um, one thing that I wanted to do before we get started with uh, picking our ink is one of the things that I talked about um, on day 14 was comparing this um, uh, Pilot 100th Anniversary ink to some of my other reds. I was wondering how it looked next to like Star Ruby and maybe Momiji. Somebody else asked what it looked like next to Noodler's Tokyo Gift and unfortunately I can't find my card for that. So I don't have that one to compare but I pulled a few of my other reds and I don't know how this is going to turn out because um, my I found my black placemat. My um, black placemat is like blowing everything out so I'm gonna leave my hand awkwardly in here um one of the ones that I wanted to compare it to obviously is um Pilot Roshizuku Momiji and this is not a good comparison because this is how I used to do my cards um this is one that I need to um redo and I'm actually making a sample for somebody so I'll redo it at that time but um yeah they look very very similar on the cards but if you look at it like up close and personal. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but Momiji is a, just a touch warmer and this is a touch cooler. And you can't really tell like in the swatches. They both have like gold sheen on them. I feel like Momiji has a lot more sheen than this one does, but it could have just been how I put it on the card. Um, but in the writing, which I'm not, like I said, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, uh, Momiji is definitely a little warmer than um, Bisha Mountain, and that is a, it's a little cooler of a red. So um, next is some other reds that some people might be familiar with. Um, I'm gonna show it next to um, MSI and Alice Palace Red. Oh, I totally said that wrong. This is my favorite red. It's also Creepy Nub's favorite red if you are familiar with his channel, and you should be. Um, um, this is my favorite red, and so it's a lot, it's a lot pinkier, I would say, compared to that, but it's still a nice red. Um, my second favorite red is um, Robert Oster Red Candy. Um, so that's how it compares to that. This one has like a dark, like, I'm not sure if it's black or like brown kind of sheen or like really like olive green sheen. We got this in, um, the first April Fool's ink flight and I had just used this ink in my, um, like 30 inks 30 days for that April, like the day before we got the ink flight. So I knew this was one of the ones that I was able to guess. <laughs> but yeah, so this is like darker and maybe a little cooler than this one. Um, yeah, still pretty though. And then also I was wondering about Star Ruby. Star Ruby is definitely more pink. This makes this one definitely look red. This is like a pinky red, but yeah, it's definitely red compared to Star Ruby, at least how I put it on this card. Um, you can kind of see that, even in the writing. And then Kaveco uh, Ruby Red, which I think is actually closer to Star Ruby than it is to um, this one, but it was a red that people are familiar with that I thought I'd grab. And then I couldn't find my Tokyo gift card, so I um, just pulled out Noodler's Widowmaker, which I had a sample of. I think I've used the sample up, but I still have the card, so that's just, that's what that looks like. So yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely closest to Momiji. Um, they are slightly different, but again, if you have one, you probably don't need the other unless you just want to collect them all. So that's that. And I can't remember if there was anything that I wanted to talk about for any of the others. Um, I think that was a big one. So, um, yeah, so I'm loving this combination today. We have, uh oh, where did I put the sample? It's on here. So I'm not even going to show you my desk. It's terrible. But where even is my pen? Like, what is happening? Well, anyway, I'm using my Pelican. Oh, here it is. Ocean Swirl. Is it ink over here, too? No. Oh my gosh, it's a disaster. I need to clean this table off. So, anyway, I'm using my Pelican um, M805 Ocean Swirl with Robert Oster Morning Mist. It's a beautiful combination. I am loving it. Um, yeah, so, but we need to pick a day. We need to pick for day 16. So, that's what we're gonna do now. I have um, pens set aside. Um, um, I have, like, they're ones that I've shown previously. I have my um, Diplomat here, the Prismatic Purple. Ooh, it looks more purple here now. Today it looks more purple. Sometimes it looks more blue. And then I have, um, this is if I pick Pelican Edelstein Amethyst. I will go ahead and use this pen. I'm gonna have to clean it out. There's still a little bit of ink in there. Um, but yeah, so I'll have to do that one. And then I'm still tempted to uh, 
try to fill this from a sample vial. So we'll see what happens. And then I have my um, new pen friend gift, my uh, Pilot Vanishing Point in the uh, Tropical Turquoise, which I'm tempted to use this. I should have used it on the sink, but I really like the combination that I had today. So um, yeah, so we'll see. And I do have other pens. If I decide none of these work, I can go grab, but those are the ones that are right here and I'd prefer to use those. So, so anyway, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and do our ink pick. Zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. Oh, actually, before I mix this up, I don't know if you'll see the video in time um, before this goes up, but I did get a bunch of ink samples from pen friend Carolyn, and I wanted to go ahead and throw these in here. Um, she sent me some lovely inks, some some of the diamine like ink vent and um, some other stuff. So I'll go ahead and dump those in, and also show you the swatches that I have. So we have uh, platinum carbon black, uh, Pilot Arosha Zuku Kirasame, whoops, Kirasame, uh, Robert Oster Khaki. Diamine Autumn Oak, which is a lovely shading ink, but I put too much ink on this card and it's not really, I mean, it's showing it off in these lighter bits, but not like all over the place. And then Diamine Golden Sands, which is a really pretty shimmer. Noodler's Apache Sunset. Diamine, it's the ink event, but I think they're calling it the blue collection. Um, this is Polar Glow, which Kind of reminds me of um, Organic Studios Nitrogen. Also similar to my Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue, except Soda Pop isn't as sheeny, but this is a color family that I really enjoy. And then um, Diamine Seasons Greetings. This looks like it's like black or like violet sheen, but it's a dark teal. That reminds me of what I hope is a well-behaved um, Organic Studios Walden Pond. We'll see but it looks almost black or or like violet, depending on how the light hits it. And then Diamine, probably my favorite of all the ones that I have here is Diamine um, Winter Miracle, which is, it's a purple base color that has gold sheen and blue shimmer, and I am in love with it. I'm in love, in love. Okay, so these are the inks that we have added to our box, so now I will mix it up. set. Let's go ahead and I'm going to take my glasses off and um, close my eyes and pick. Where do I want to go? I think I went over here yesterday, so I'm going to go over here. We'll see what we got. Is the vial in the frame? It looks like there is a vial in the frame. I don't know what it is or who it is. Anyway, we'll see. Okay. Move this out of the way. Okay. So bring this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and see what we have. We have Elixir Inks Flame of the Forest. Woo -woo! This is anonym another anonymous pen friend gift. So I'm really excited. Um, can't wait to see what this looks like next to this. And my, this is what the card looks like. I have it right here. It's like a pretty like orangey color. And I think, I think, oh God, do I want to try this? Do I want to try this? Okay, I need to get like a plate or something because this is going to be a disaster, but we're going to try it anyway. Hold on. I don't have to go very far. I just don't want to make a giant mess, but I really want to try this. <laughs> this is probably not the ink to try this in, but yeah, we're going to do it anyway. Okay, I'm gonna do this a couple times. I still have, there's still like a tiny bit of water in here from Yamabudo. Do I have, where's my paper towel? I have a paper towel right here. Like look how neon that is. And I don't know how to get that all out. Like. 
this pen has been drying for like ever. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna do this anyway. Um, we are going to be very careful. We are going to start our kitty cat as well. We're taking no chances. And we're just going to carefully, I feel like I should probably do this first. Carefully. Ooh, we did it. We did it. We have ink in here. I am not gonna press my luck. I'm just gonna leave it at that. This is a pretty, like, I think there's a lot of air bubbles in here, but it seems like it's a pretty good fill. Nice, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we are not going to press our luck any more than we have already done. <laughs> and we're just gonna go with what we have. So this is fun. I think this ink is discontinued because um, I think when I looked, look, we didn't even make a mess. Um, I think when I tried to look it up when I was swatching these, I think that um, it was not available. Or maybe this was one of the ones that was available. If it's available, I'll link it in the description. Um, this is 30 inks. 30 days. And this is June 2020. Oh, can you see that shading? Day 16. Oh, this is a nice compliment to this one. I love how that's working out. <laughs> the ink. Elixir inks. And it's called Flame of the Forest. I love this in this pen. And in case I did not say what it was earlier, this is my pilot. Custom 823. This is the amber finish. And I have the broad nib on this one. I also have this pen in the smoke finish with a medium nib. This is currently um, inked with Colorverse Matter. And maybe it's permanent combination because I love how that pen, I love how that ink looks in that pen. Um, And this is from our anonymous pen friend. Well, I feel bad not shouting out, but they're because they're amazing. But I'm also shouting them out because they know who they are, <laughs> which is really all that matters. Um, so here, now that the bubbles have kind of settled, you can kind of see what it looks like in the pen. Oh yeah, I did get a really good fill on this one. Fill it all the way up to here. So yes, in case you're wondering, you can in fact fill a custom 823 from a sample vial, a generously filled sample vial, and if you're really careful, you can even not make a mess. <laughs> I am so shocked that I did not make a mess with that one, like honestly. Okay, um, okay, splats are gonna be a different story. Splats are gonna make a mess. I have done that and gotten ink up my bed, so we're just gonna try very carefully. It can be done, but it is definitely messy. There we go. And once again, I'm not gonna press my luck with that because, yeah. Or should I? Okay, I'll do one more. Okay, I'll do one more. You can't just... Oops, see, 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 see? Okay, we're gonna spread some of this out. Awesome. This, as always, or at least for June, is Pen Friend. I'm so glad that I put this ink in this pen. Like, look at that shading. Can you see, like, of? Look at that. That's so pretty. 
Thank you to my dear anonymous benefactor for sending this ink. This is super fun. This is super fun. That's awesome. And it matches like all the shading and stuff that is happening on the card. Like how cool is that? Super juicy, probably because I pushed all that ink out. Wow, look how good those two look together. How do I keep doing that? It's magic. Laughter is not at all a bad beginning for a friendship and it is far the best ending for one. Which I love laughing, so I agree. Yay! Awesome! So excited. This is such a cool ink, and I am loving it in this pen just right here. Like, oh man, day 16 is going to be amazing, guys. Just saying. Um, yeah, so, oh, since I have some of these reds out here, this is more of like an orangey red, but I figured we kind of go ahead and, oh, I already put it away. Um, might as well go look at it real fast. Oh, nope, that's not it. So since we have it out here, whoops, uh-oh, that's bad, uh-oh, 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 I just like took the ring out of my whole coloring card, that is not good, we need to fix that right now, or else, oh god. I have so much to clean up around here just from work and from all the pen stuff. This desk is a disaster. I know I've talked about that before, but it is. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. Okay, let's move this out of the way a little bit so we can see what we have. So here's what we're working with. Flame of the Forest by Elixir Inks. It's, an, it's a reddish orange, I would say, or an orangey red, but since we have these out here, here's how it compares to Bishamontan and Momiji. And Quebeco Ruby Red and Star Star Ruby since those are close. Um, Raw Roster Red Candy and Nuggler's Widowmaker are probably the closest of these two. And um, last but not least of the ones I have sitting out here, Alice Palace Red. So that's pretty cool. So fun, definitely on the orangey side. Um, I would think that it's considered more of an orange than a red. I do have a sim another ink from them that um, actually looks pretty similar. It's like a touch different though, it's a touch red. Let's see if I can find my little card. They're very similar but still different, like this is like a darker orange, I would say. But yeah, very nice. Awesome! Okay, so that's day 16, you guys. Um, this is a longer video, but I think there's a lot of like stuff to cut out. Oh, look how it's drying. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's so pretty. I almost love it more on this cream paper, 
even though it's like looking a little lighter. Can you see? That is stunning. Big fan, big fan of this one, which is weird because it's not like my usual color. I mean, I guess, you know, whatever. Just It's just interesting that I like this so much because it's so pale is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. I am very much looking forward to um, beginning my day on day 16 with this ink and pen combination. So yeah, so there we go. Another day in the books. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with another 30 inks 30 days. Take care, bye bye.